Hey guys, it's me, Meteor, and welcome back to Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Today we're going to be going into the Winter Horns. So we're going to be going into, uh, Abandoned London, I guess. Northeast Frost Street. Let's go ahead and begin. Gotta say, this, see that clock tower? There's something interesting about that clock tower, but we'll get to that later. I would say this is probably a, one of my favorite worlds in the game. Music is good, nice atmosphere, it's just overall pretty, music is nice, it's a beautiful little place. Let's just start off by grabbing a Noble Ranger here. And then we can just get rid of these Dreamland 3 origin snowball rolling guys. Either way, first thing you'll see off here is a snow sculpture. DESTROY IT! No snow sculpture should stand in our way. I do not like art, so I shall destroy it. Yeah, there are four of those in the area, so just make sure you destroy every single one of them. And, uh, technically it's probably better to just charge instead of having to just keep on tapping this button here. Like, for example, I could kind of just kill this guy way out in the background. Gone. Reduced to atoms. Wait. Okay. Yeah, that was a really awful joke to make, I agree. You could stand on here and be completely safe from all those. See, look, completely fine. You're not, however, unfortunately for you. Now you'll see a little bomb over here. No real reason to destroy that except the fact that you get a capsule. No Waddle Dees or anything. But a free capsule is always nice. Gosh, I love this music. It's beautiful. Absolutely great. Let's go grab this piece of bread here. Hmm. Oh, well, I was gonna say do I want cutter, but I guess that uh, that option was chosen for me. This path has been automatically destined. All right, so let's go here, and you can destroy stuff with a vending machine mouth. Yay! Or just vending mouth. And as usual, we could pick up a vending machine, or you could pick up uh, cans. There we go, to restore your health and also your ammo. Mostly, uh, health is more important though. Now you'll see this bomb, destroy that, you don't really have to worry about that too much. You'll need to learn to fire more. And you could also destroy those giant boulders of uh, snow with it as well. Now here you'll see a green capsule. That means you get a volume 2 for free. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I like how this also kind of takes inspiration from uh, the fridge in Kirby 64 and the fact that you could, you're pretty much your ammo you shoot, you could also end up just restoring your own health with, making you basically invincible in the same process. Except this one is a lot more destructive, which is nice. So therefore it's even more OP than the original fridge was in Kirby 64. Only thing is you can't take this throughout the entire level, you are limited. So there's that, unfortunately. Now, do not take that warp star yet. You will see a little Awoofy sculpture. Die! And now you don't. Two down, two to go. Hmm, do I want a bomb? No. No, I don't. Who needs a bomb when you have a gun? I missed. Let's see. Hmm. That's, that's a nice little uh, defense you got there. And now you don't. There you go. Don't have to worry about any rolling boulders or anything, only rolling snowballs. Psh, none of that. Eliminate or exterminate, whatever that thing is. It's definitely exterminate, not eliminate. I I butchered the reference so badly, and um, I mean, come on, we're in the place where Doctor Who is. Probably the most accurate to take some reference in this type of area, considering what it's based on. And I butchered it. I ruined it. I had one chance, and it's gone. Taken away forever. Anyway. Hit that target up there, which you are timed with because of those falling platforms. The timing's not really too bad. And you go through this secret door. Ooh. What's in here? Another little timed thing. Not really a big deal. This one's kind of easy, though. Hit that switch. And then just, that's it. 
Uh, I think we've had a harder one of those in, uh, World 1, in terms of a puzzle with Hunter. Ranger, not Hunter. Why do, why do you keep calling it a Hunter? I don't know, I think I just see the gun and that kind of, uh, Elmer Fudd-style weapon, I just think of a Hunter. I don't know. Guess that doesn't really matter too much. Maybe it's called Hunter in another region. I don't think it is, but you never know. You'll be surprised what some things are named in other regions. It's quite fascinating. Anyway, go down here. And three down, one to go. Let's get rid of that thing right now. Let's see, can I reach you? Mm, unfortunately, you could avoid my crosshair, so the answer to that is no. For now. Wow. Can I not? There we go. Oh, that's cool. Bones are kind of nice. Let's just wait for it. There we go. Perfect. Let's see. Take that out. Uh, whatever, fine. You know what? I don't even need to take you out anyway. I'll just walk over here to that bomb myself. No big deal. I'll let you guys live. Why not? You guys are trying so hard. Three Waddle Dees. Wait a minute. Aw, uh, I missed. I just realized I missed an achievement. I missed it a while back, actually. It's like in the first area. <sighs> Alright, we'll have to go through this level again and do that all over again. Wait, hold on. Don't want to miss the second thing. Let's go down here real quick. I was too focused on everything else, and I didn't really focus on this. Free capsule! Not necessary, but useful. Hey, at least you're hear this music again when I go through the level uh, to get it a second time. Now here you'll have like a tower of stairs and everything else. And those little falling snowballs get really annoying later. Either way, you're aiming just for the ladder to get out of here. And then get rid of it immediately. Wow, you lived. Alright. Technically, I could just, uh... I don't think I could probably reach it in time, actually. Whatever. Just avoid that out of the way. And there's, like, such small leeway room to avoid those things. Hey, look. Green capsule. Round two, baby. You could also slam down at the same time to kind of avoid the hit, but eh, whatever. I don't think I've ever gotten past this entire section without getting hit at least once, though. I mean, I'd say it's impossible. Probably pretty easy if I've really tried, but there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of variables to prevent you from getting hit. Just for the fact how slow the stairs move, how wide the hitbox is for the stairs, yada yada. Here you don't need the stairs to go up here. But there are stairs that you also don't need for this round. Oh, hold on. Before I forget. Oh, what? Okay. I guess uh, that also works. I guess I'll just destroy you by splashing you with stairs. That's one way of handling of destroying a snow sculpture, I guess. Hey, can't argue with the results. Like, that is just a really... I guess I could kind of... I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Let's just smash this. And kind of walk past here quickly and you'll see this broken spot here smash that smash it again because that thing's gonna charge you immediately and there's of course that waddle D right up there so let's go grab him and that's all four waddle D's So now, we just have to make our way up to the tower without having to worry about anything else. We got everything we needed to at the current moment in time. Everything is A-OK. -okay. And now we're at the fu- And now we're at the e Whatever. Now we're at the end of the level. You know what, let me just grab fire. You'll see three switches here. Obviously, you want to hit all three of them. 
and then you'll see the exit. But you don't want to go there yet. You want to go over to this little clock tower over here. Now, notice that clock time. That's not the current time that you're at right now. That time is approximately 427, or the date the, that Kirby's Dreamland, the original Dreamland was released. More importantly, hit that. See what drops? Three 30 coins and two single coins, making a total of 92 coins, referencing 1992, 427, the original date of the release of Kirby's Dreamland. Kind of a neat little reference. Nice little Easter egg. And of course, there's an achievement for it, so there you go. Yay! And of course, there's that one Model D that I missed, and that's by finding the side alley, which I remembered halfway through as I was going to it, and then just got sidetracked and just forgot about it entirely. Let me just skip that part. Now we can stuff an entire dome into his mouth. Tap around one of these, then twist until it pops open. Think there's anything good inside? Only one way to find out. Spaceship Wandaria. Buffahorn. Behold, it's a brutal, brutish Buffahorn. Weak attacks won't stand a chance against this critter's forward to tackle. Good thing they have a hard time stopping. If you're careful, you can trick them into running off cliffs. They'll be okay down there. They're real tough. Boat. Yes. So glad we got that out of our uh, green capsule. And thus, World 2 is opened. Metro on ice. But first, I gotta go back in here and clear this off. I almost missed it again. Alright, so what you wanna do is in this area here, you'll see this alley right here to the left. Go in here. You'll see a sleeping Woofy in that nice little view and pile of coins. Look at that. Look at that nice view we got over here. Nice little view of the city overlooking places. Fun fact, this area will be required to find later whether or not you're going for a... Well, I guess it's still not required, thinking about it. Only if you're going for 100%. Of course, you need to find it here in the first... You know what? I'll just meet you at the end. There we go, now it's all completed. Yippee. Have you unlocked any new figurines that are interesting? Burger, nope, guess not. <laughs> Yay, oh, what'll these save? Let's go and move on to the next area, please. Should've messed that up in the first place. Either way, Metro on Ice, let us go and begin. Save the hidden waddledees, as always. Hmm. Well, the metro is technically unaffected by the outside world, because it's technically underground, so we're dealing with its own internal temperature, unless there's some kind of, like, system in place for heating or cooling. I mean, usually, in a cave, at least, the internal temperature usually stays the same no matter what happens and whether it's outside or affected but I think it's some kind of uh, crazy weird winter I guess it wouldn't really matter too much either way that ice if you, in the, or that cold water you see there obviously hurts you don't fall in it it's basically the same way as falling into an abyss just imagine that everything you touch is a pit and of course in typical ice world fashion Ice physics. You collect every single one of these coins. Hey, look, a pile of coins. Isn't that nice? Grab a bomb. Voila. Let's go over here. Let's destroy these boxes and not miss. Really? Come on. I just wanted this capsule. It wasn't too hard to ask. Fine. You know what? You win. Resilient, I will say. You are. Why don't I go up here? Because you have to stand on top of two trains. I'll grab you. Or not. Or, or I'll just... Fine. 
Things are not going my way. Anyway, I thought for sure I'd make that jump. I'm, I blame perspective. Why can I not hit anything right now? Man, that is not going to bode well for one of the challenges I have to go to face later. Whatever. Or about that when I get to it anyway. Come on, come on. No. Oh, dang it. Well, at least there's food here. I will need to at least grab one of those hammer guys at some point. Yeah, Bomb is not exactly one of my favorite abilities in this game. Oh, let's grab you. There we go. We will need Hammer for a certain section over here, but first before we do anything else, there's also another train right here. And there we go, stay on top of two trains. We did it! We stood on top of the train. Now let's go and collect all these coins. If we can deal with the physics. So the little coins, come on. Last coin. Give me that last coin. There we go. A bigger pile of coins. Isn't that nice? You will also hear a Waddle D kind of crying over there. And he'll see pegs. Which, if you see a hammer and you see a nail, bam. One of the actual one few premises that a hammer legitimately has to use is hitting nails. Ooh, right, forgot about this. Extra star coins are always lovely to have. And now you see falling icicles. That's just typical ice fashion at that point. Can't have an ice level without falling icicles everywhere. <laughs> just what, what kind of ice level would it even be without those? Pretty big ice crystals too. I don't know how they could form so quickly. You deal, you could also you don't have to hit the nails directly either. You can hit them from the side and it still launches them in somehow. How that works? I have no clue, but it does. Find two secret passages. This is obviously the first one. It's also another achievement we have to do. And here we're going to be collecting crystal shards. Not technically really crystal shards, but like green star pieces. They may as well be crystal shards. They're try they're diamond. Well, they're not blue, they're green, but uh they're shards. And those are really the only two similars I could think of. But uh yeah. Want to go in this way so you don't run into one of the Gordos. And then the last piece should be right here. Just be careful because obviously those those icicle crystals are going to be coming down every so often. So they can smack you as you're trying to unscrew it. It is possible. Heal up that health you probably do need to heal. And get yourself one of the, oh, the Waddle Dees. Yay! Thankfully, this, they're nice enough to put a teleporter right back where you were at before to make things a lot quicker for you. That's nice of them. They didn't have to do that because it's not exactly too hard to get back to where you were, but the fact they did is always nice and welcome. Now, the, ex the extra secret path is right over here to the right. Very easy to miss the first time for sure. You know what, Naughty? Wait, what am I doing? I didn't get rid of my hammer yet. I didn't need to do that. I love how the naughty just <laughs> walks out of the way to get around the way the thing. All right, so now let's go ahead and run, run towards victory. I don't think there's necessarily any real necessary thing you need to do with this, but I guess it's easier to get past that enemy up there with an invisible lollipop, but there's no kind of uh, achievement to destroy anything with it or anything else like that. Now you'll see these platforms here moving back and forth. 
We want to land on this one here. And go on that one. Aw, oh, man. No. Go on. Well, that's one. All right, I'll let you get squished that way. That was, a, that was what I was trying to actively avoid was getting squished. All right, come on. I need, I need to jump on here. Let me let me jump up there. There we go. You'll see a cone, or rather, a speaker in the shape of a cone. How convenient. Land that switch there. And thus begins a cone section. Whee! Got a capsule, but you want to keep on to this cone as well, because of course that's. That's not it. You'll see that little section over. You'll see that little spot that it needs to get hit as well. Thankfully, you can destroy mummies with these too, so that's always wonderful. Here, you want to go underneath and then hit this little spot. Obviously, that'll launch you up so now you can go on top of the cars. Yay! There's a bottle D right there, but we're not quite done yet. You want to move over to the right where you see that. Climb up here. And you get an achievement for checking inside the shipping container, which you can only get by climbing up there. So. Curiosity pays off sometimes. Definitely not always, but sometimes. Sometimes it does. There to have you avoid going to the... By using the cone, by having you float over that, because you kind of have to. And that's pretty much that. Ah, I was trying to jump up in the air and do that. And I think I got everything I needed to. I don't think I missed any achievements. Did I? I guess I'll find out very shortly, won't I? I'm pretty sure I got everything I needed to. Yep. Yay! That's everything! We did it! I wasn't a complete failure this time! Tortilding. Whoa! Tortilding shells a whole building! This big baddie must be some kind of boss for the smaller beasts. It enjoys basking in the sun, so it climbs to high spots, and claims the whole area as his territory. It must take a long time for this critter to get up there. Flipper. Needle. Ouch! Ooch! Careful with those spikes! Jab at enemies in place or pick them up by rolling around. You have a whole bunch of them together and then launch them off all at once. Pow! This ability is hot, hot, hot! Light fuses, burn through obstacles, and toast your enemies with the power of a raging fire. Run, jump, then attack to blast this forward as a fireball. Technically, you can see all the same descriptions in the weapon shop, so... Yeah, there's that. You don't need to worry about those to get them. And now we unlock the next level. And that should be it for today. Before I do that, I might as well just show off the star location, the little star hidden spots that I can't find out by opening that. If I said that clearly, I'm pretty sure I did not. Either way, first one that's hidden is this one right here by this tree. Now, usually all these spots here are marked off where you can easily find them, like some kind of suspicious thing that's just kind of sitting there along with a bed of flowers or whatever. The other one is very, very well hidden. Uh, it's right over here. You'll see an underwater thing right here, which is kind of easy to miss if you look at all these rocks that are by it. But that's where the one is, right by the underwater spot. So that's probably the, one of the most clever hidden ones that are out there. But there we go. That's everyone we need to do. So next time in Kirby the Forgotten Land, we will be starting off the next level going over to, wait, where is it? Right here, wow, windy freezing seas. See you guys next time.